Casino conflict continues in Connecticut. Foxwoods and Mohegan Sun are looking to expand before MGM Springfield opens. 22 News reporter Tashani Whitlow joins us after hearing the Connecticut Casino tribes trying to convince the state they need to protect jobs. Representatives from three tribes and MGM all attended today's Commerce Committee hearing arguing for gaming expansion in Connecticut. I'm here to try and protect my job. In a packed room, the tribal leaders that run Mohegan Sun and Foxwoods casinos were asking for permission to build another casino in Connecticut, north of Hartford. Both tribes told the committee why opening a third casino would only benefit the state. Collectively, over the past 20 years, we've brought over $7 billion directly to the state of Connecticut via the participation in slot machines. But if you add in all the economic impact of the jobs and the, and the sales tax, we're well north of $10 billion. Butler anticipates that number will grow if the state grants them permission to build another casino. They also want to protect jobs. They fear their money and those jobs could move to Massachusetts once MGM Springfield Casino opens. They have jobs that are sustainable and uh, they're well paying and that there's community support where they live and they don't have to leave the state to find work. Alan Feldman, the executive VP of MGM Resorts International, said Connecticut should have a fair playing field when it comes to gaming. We'd love to be able to compete. We'd love to be able to put our best foot forward, which we would do in southwestern Connecticut. But unfortunately, the law that they passed doesn't allow us to do it. MGM has joined the Scattercoke tribe in a federal lawsuit against Connecticut. The Scattercoke cannot open a casino because they are not federally recognized. They are currently only recognized by the state. Both parties say allowing the tribe that runs Mohegan Sun and Foxwoods to open another casino in Connecticut on non-tribal land is unconstitutional, unless the competition opens up to all developers. Connecticut State Representative Chris Perone, a member of today's Commerce Committee meeting, introduced a bill for the state to do its own economic study and weigh the cost and economic benefits of having a statewide casino gambling in Connecticut. Live in the studio, Tashani Whitlow, 22 News.